Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I have a crystal art from Craft Buddy delivery and they had some special offers on and that was a free gift. And if there's a free gift, you've just got to get the free gift. So let's get into this one and have a look. It's coming at two separate boxes. So we'll see what's in there. I'm using my little... I'm using my little uh, pen knife with the little blade in the end there to see how we get on with this for opening parcels. It certainly worked on cutting paper. Let's see. It, yeah, it's, I'll put the details down below of the pen knife. Okay, so it's just a case of keeping it the right, the blade the right way around when you're using it. In my eyesight's not the uh, best, so I just have to make sure I've got my blade the right way around. Okay. Oh, there's my invoice. Okay, so oh, we'll have a look at this one first because this one seems as it wants to escape out of the box already. Whoops. Make sure my knife doesn't uh, escape that way. So, how does this open then? So, up at the side. Oh, yes. Oh, look. This was the free gift. So we are coming up to Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee. Uh, and that's, I think it's usually around about the end of May that we celebrate. But um, to give us a bit longer of like a bank holiday weekend, I do believe it's possibly the Thursday, Friday this year. I will have to check the details. Um, but one day just seems to merge into one. I can't believe we're May already. <gasps> May. What happened to the first sort of... Well, just over a quarter of a year, it's just flown. So, yep, so we'll have a look at that in a second. And then the other parcel, let me put the lid back on that, otherwise it's going to be rolling everywhere. Oh, oh yeah, and yeah, I did get, because if you spend over £35 in the UK, you do get free shipping. So I just added sort of a staple into uh, my parcel which is just a two-in-one glue pen i use a lot of glue so i thought yeah i'll just get uh, one of my little glue pens and um, it's one of those where it goes on blue and then it dries clear but uh, it going on blue particularly if you're using like white card white glue can sometimes disappear with my eyesight so yeah it's a rollerball uh, glue pen uh, just by adding an extra couple of pounds onto my order i got a glue pen and free postage so that's box number one and this is oh look at that oh, i do love craft buddy packaging you just feel as though you've got something special when it comes in such a nice box with a little carry handle and it's all brightly colored all branded and yeah it's just a nice present i mean this is for me this is to go on my kallax storage shelves because unlike a lot of the uh, storage boxes and the ones that I use at the moment that are like a 10 inch by 10 inch, these are actually the 12 inch by 12 inch. So they fit snugly into the little compartments in the, an Ikea Kallax uh, rather than having the edges around the edge. So, OK, and then let's just have a look at the other one. We'll have a look at the whole, ho whole haul altogether. <laughs> Oh dear, right, where's the opening for this one? Okay, and we will get out my second purchase. And this one is, oh, look at that. How gorgeous is that? This is one of the hanging signs. I've not had a hanging sign from uh, Craft Buddy. I believe it's a hanging sign. I think it hangs, or maybe it goes on a stand. I'm not sure, we'll have to check. But these came out at Easter with the um, Easter wreaths and everything. It was like with the Peter Bunny set, it came out just after that in time for Easter. It does say hanging basket, so we'll have a look at that as well. But yeah, I just thought that was really pretty with your daffodils, uh, tulips. Now then, are these primulas possibly? Or even busy Lizzie's. <laughs> and this Lizzie is definitely busy at the moment. Okay, so let's get into some of these packages and have a closer look. We'll have a look at our 
the Queen's Platinum Jubilee sticker. This is just a giant sticker and as I say, it was free with any order on the Craft Buddy site. I'm not sure whether they have still got some left, but it's definitely worth going there and ordering. I, I was an influencer. This time last year, I was solely just unboxing Craft Buddy products because I loved them so much, but I was finding it was a little bit limiting because I do love my craft my uh, diamond painting and I do love trying different companies and different things and if I was a craft buddy influencer I wasn't allowed to show anything else on my channel so I did step away on foot. Okay so it's a large sticker so we have a nice cover on it nice they do always do like a thick cover uh, clear cover on these and if you just let me just see it is just oops Hang on, let me look at this with my eyes. <laughs> All right, okay, so they've done it differently this time. Um, it's clear, a clear sticker around the edges, as you can see, but for whatever reason, they've decided not to die cut across the bottom or around the uh, flag, which is a bit strange. Um, last year, they did a rainbow and it was a lovely rainbow with white aid bees in it which was gorgeous uh, but for whatever reason this year they've decided not to cut this so you will need to if you want to uh, cut well you will want to cut the bottom out if you're sticking this somewhere you will want <laughs> it's a bit stuck on your wall but yeah um i was trying to pick it up from the corners there but for whatever reason unless mine's a faulty one Oops, I tried doing that again. I could always get my tweezers out, I suppose. So, yeah, you just, but yeah, that's definitely, um, yeah, there's no cut marks there. So, you will need to cut this out. Um, the edges, as I say, are clear, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, you've still got your craft buddy thing there. But it's a nice freebie. What can I say? You know, you, you're getting something free. It's always worth having something free. And yeah, my Queen's Jubilee uh, is coming along quite nicely now. I've got um, some flags that I've got and I've got a bookmark and I may have some other things coming as well. And I've got a couple to kit up as well. So yay! So very, very simple colours on this one. Just, oh, we've got purple. Oh, right. Okay, so they've done the inside a very, very regal, deep royal purple. So when I say about royal purple, you see, it's not just me that says royal purple. They've used royal purple in the middle for the Queen's head and uh, the writing isn't diamond painted, which is quite good because it's small and I don't think it would stand out. And then you've got your red, your white and your blue. There's no DMC codes on these. Um, I would think it's probably 666 red and it will definitely be 5200 uh, white I'm not sure on the blue but yeah I mean for a free sticker that's pretty good um I will possibly use crystals because I think all of my other um flags and bookmarks and things that I've got rather than using white drills are actually crystal drills and as you know I do have a lot of crystal drills just the plain silver crystals so I may use those instead but craft buddy are resin drills so they are the better quality drills. Uh, I can't see any trash in there. They look pretty good to me. Very quick and easy project just to sit uh, on your knee possibly one night and do. Give it a quick measure. Let's have a look. So we are 28 centimetres drill field that way, which is just under 11 inches by... Uh, 14 centimetres which is five and a half inches so it's a really good size sticker I mean if children are doing anything for school that's pretty uh, a good project for them to take into school um I mean you can always peel it off and put it on something else or even peel it off and put it on a piece of perspex uh, on a piece of acetate or something like that and then you know wherever you stick it you can then take it off and reuse it rather than sticking it say 
onto uh, I don't know a wall it may come off with some paint or wallpaper depending on how sticky it is so yeah but very very useful and I will definitely be doing that one Queen's Jubilee we're having street parties and all sorts going on so yay we love a party any excuse for a party so let's have a look at this one first I know we took this one out last but we'll uh, be rebels and go in a different order why not Okay, so let's have a look at this. I love the boxes. As I say, you just feel as though you're getting something really special when it comes in a box rather than a little grey trash bag. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that. Wow. Okay. Uh, the back of the box just does tell you what you're getting in your box and it does give you um you how to diamond paint as well and it's in several different languages and you have all your contact details there and there's facebook instagram and youtube as well they do have their own youtube channel and they do have a facebook group which is very useful very handy you can go and show your craft buddy makes they have competitions all the time as well which is great um i did win one i think year before last i got a little unicorn picture which was really sweet Okay, but look at all this in here. Wow. Okay, so let's see what we get. Shit, if she can get into it. Okay. Nice bag. <laughs> so we've got one of our craft buddy toolkits. Oh, we have got a chain, so it is a hang up one. Good. Our lovely drills, as I said, they are resin drills, so they've got a little bit more sparkle, a few more facets on them on the resin drills. They always do a little key coding um, with any of these project type ones now, so you have all your DMC codes plus any special drills also have their own craft buddy key code on it which is what i use um for cutting down my kits now and my storage so yay we like that okay we've got our craft buddy leaflet which tells us how to diamond paint in oh we've got an extra language now one two three four five six languages so we've got english french german uh, Dutch, Italian, and now we've got Spanish as well. I don't remember the Spanish on before. So, yeah, very good. And just a few of the other products that you, they do. And again, this is your contents of what you get in your kit, which is always nice. If you're buying it for somebody that's not diamond painted before, and there are people out there that don't know about diamond painting. Uh, I'm trying to educate everybody. Even the postman gets an explanation of what I'm getting these days. <laughs> And to be fair, I have that many diamond paintings up um, around the house now. People tend to ask about it. So they get a full-blown lecture. Uh, well, not lecture, full-blown explanation. Little chat, shall we say. Nothing serious. <laughs> but I'm sure that they wish they'd never asked. <laughs> or maybe they do. Oh, it's amazing how many will say, oh, yes, my friend does that. Or, oh, yes, I know about that. I've seen those before. I've not had anybody say, oh, yes, I do that as well. Um, but maybe... Maybe later on somebody will. So this is uh, a chain with a couple of large uh, jump rings there, which, okay. Um, it's not the best looking chain in the world. It's just uh, like a basic, what are they, curb chains are they called? So it's not, you know, nothing stunning, nothing special, I suppose. You maybe don't want it to be. I know some of the um, chains I've had on other companies' products. I've looked at them and thought, oh, I could wear that as a bracelet. They're quite nice. But, yeah, this is okay. And you do just have... There's a little hole there and a little hole there on this lovely... I mean, that's huge. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting uh, to go on your... to hang on your wall. Um, right, so let's measure this chain, see how long we are. Obviously, you, with using your jump rings, you can make it as long or as short as you want, depending on where you put them. And it is 44 centimetres, which is 17 and a quarter inches. So it's a good size chain. There are no jump rings on the other end, though. So um, I would suggest using pliers uh, to open your jump rings. 
I'll be oh no oh, hang on a second let me look at these again these jump rings are rolled over so I don't know if you'll be able to get this on camera let's just see possibly possibly yeah I think you can just about see it's got some of those jump rings that are like your key rings where you put something on and you get the like little split so you just literally roll it round let's put one of them on see if I can do it without my magnifying glass <laughs> oh this could all go horribly wrong oh dear definitely pliers are probably needed or another pair of hands but yeah so the struggle is real oh let me see if I can do it this way wow that took some doing i've edited a bit out because i didn't want you all sat there saying give it to me i'll do it <laughs> so that did take a bit of doing uh, possibly use something to just put in between the little curls um to get that in but yeah uh, that's going to be really strong that's uh, that's a pretty good idea but uh, yeah. <laughs> i do prefer the lob lobster claw clasp ones they're a lot easier to use. I'm not going to do the other one. We've not got all day to watch me struggling with little bits of metal. <laughs> oh, maybe you have. I don't know. Okay, so look at this. Isn't that absolutely stunning? And the way they've done the basket, the colour shading, um, you've got like the lighter colours on the top. And actually, it looks like you've got lighter colours on the top of this one going to darker. And then on the other side, it looks like you've got darker colours going to lighter. So, yeah, this is going to be good. There's three different colours uh, to give you your gradient on your leaves as well. This is one thing that Craft Buddy do do really well. They look at a picture and they don't just put one or two colours on. They will always put three or more so that you get that depth of colour to give it a real 3D effect. And the real shading just really makes it stand out. Um, are these like pussy willows? They look like pussy willows, don't they? You know, they're little, really fairy things. I think we used to call them lamb's tails when we were little. Yeah. And then a nice blue bow at the top. I may even do this one. Uh, my mum's birthday is coming up soon, so I may do it for her birthday. Or oh, my mum and dad have got a wedding anniversary coming up, so I may do this as like, rather than a wedding anniversary card, maybe do it as a wedding anniversary gift and a card all in one yeah because there's plenty of room on the back it's white on the back so there's plenty of room there to write a message uh, is it oh gosh am i going to be struggling with any with backs again i do believe yeah there is there's a there's actually a surface on here to peel off i do believe because that's a bit um, opaque looking there and usually it's clear in between so I think there is um, a different backing on there and then we do have I can, I'm having trouble with these today mind you my nails aren't brilliant we've been gardening this weekend so yeah so yeah you just lift your plastic off and wherever there's a letter or a number you just put your drill a corresponding drill on there and you can either use your little key code that you've got here or depending on how you're uh, working from your drills you've got your letters on your drills as well there's no dmc numbers on the drills but as i said they are on the little key code that you get with it and we have 29 different gems and colors wow that is a lot of colors let's have a look at these gems Okay, so we we'll start off with A, which is like a whiny colour, practically the same colour as the packet, so it doesn't show up brilliantly. A lovely bright sunny yellow. We are going to get some good colours in this one. Uh, another like rusty orangey colour, a brown, a very sort of ooh, browny peach colour, a little bit of grey, that's probably for edgings and highlights. Oh, another bright orange orange yellow Liz it's yellow Liz and hot pink look at that hot pink we love our hot pinks and look at all those pinks that you've got there you've got four shades of pink 
that are going to be going into those flowers. That is going to just really pop, look really pretty. Okay, a nice sort of cherry red, a muted orange, and a bit more of a muted yellowy colour. Another little bit of a different shade of grey. Some more maroon there, so we've got some quite deep colours. Some more pinks, like a salmony pink there, and a paler pink, and another orange. So we're definitely all pinks and oranges in this. And then we're just getting a few blues for the bow. Look, even the bow, even though it's only small and not a big part of the diamond painting, we've still got three different colours on there to give it its shading. And then like a caramac chocolate colour. So that's your resin drills. Okay, and also a part of the basket there possibly as well. And then we have some little teeny tiny green marquees. Look at those, they're really pretty. Very, very pale green. Oh, lovely, I like those. And our gems, we have, oh, we've got AB White. So our little pussy willows. Our lamb's tails are going to be in an Aurora Borealis uh, iridescent coated white. And then we have three greens. So where do the three greens go? Let's have a look. What are they? They are small T, small E and small B. So, uh, and they are all the leaves. So the flowers are going to be the gems. And then let me just pick it up because I can't see the middles of the flowers. And some of the uh, stamens in the middle of these, they could be poppies actually, or pansies, possibly pansies. Ah, pansies, yes. Yes, with the big leaf, uh, big petals. Uh, a couple of the ones at the bottom are actually the crystals and then all these leaves are crystals. So yeah, you could definitely just going to get that pop of sparkle in between the other gems. It'll just make it all shine out. Oh, that looks stunning. Very, very nice. Okay, so I'll put that. Oh no, I, will. I, will. I was going to say I was going to put that in there, but I can put these back in the box, can't I? But I will put the chain in with the drills because I'm good at losing little bits. <laughs> oh dear, I am getting organised. And then we'll just have a quick look at the toolkit. Um, I won't look at the toolkit in the other one because it will be the same as this one. But we do get a very good toolkit with Craftbody as well. They always give you two pens with uh, the larger projects. And they are branded with that lovely crisp white and the lovely like foiled uh, crystal art in purple on them. I do think that just looks so classy. It's just so smooth and crystal clear, shall we say. <laughs> and then we've got two three places, the old style three places. But as I say, if you use these for picking up your um, crystal gems or your special shaped gems, you've got a bigger surface area there for picking them up. And it does work that little bit better. Oh, I've got a blinking pen on my nails. Dear me. Probably a permanent marker as well. I've been doing all sorts. <laughs> okay, so that's two pens. And you get your two purple. Look at those. Gorgeous. So it all matches in. Uh, little pen grips, which are always handy to have if you do use your smaller pens. Uh, some people prefer them because they are a lot lighter. But if you find it's not wide enough for you to hold, then you do. it's like a comfort grip on it. Plus as well, if you do find that you get quite sticky hands um, and you do perspire in the summer, then these are a little bit easier to hold as well because you can find that that's a little bit slippy with it being plastic. But yeah, they're always handy to have. We get two boats, a little flat bottomed white boat and a little standard uh, usual green boat but they do their own white so that it all matches in, lovely branding um, and the ones with the spouts are always handy for pouring back into your little bottles or bags or whatever you use or throwing all over depending on what suits you. <laughs> Uh, you get your little grip sealed bags. There's usually about 20. Uh, I'm not going to count them. There may be more, there may be less, but it's usually a standard size of about 20 when you get a craft buddy kit. And then your little pot of wax again branded with crystal art on. And it's just a nice touch. Stops your wax from drying out. 
and once you've used all this wax which will take a while if you do use your red wax then you can put another even the square of wax you can squish it into there so you can carry on using your little pots or you could even collect them and put your spare gems in them whatever you want to do i can't throw things like that away <laughs> okay and don't forget there is your little plastic cover on your wax and you just stab into it and away you go once you've got your wax into your little single place of pen there you can get on your way so two little patties of wax which is excellent as well so yeah uh, when they first started they just used to have like a little round tray and a little well actually it was a like a pencil a pickup pencil and um, that you had to sharpen and everything you know so they've come a long way but then diamond paintings come a long way as well i think it's been around um in the us and the uk about four years now so you know things move on things improve different techniques come out so and different projects come out as well uh, you certainly when it first started wouldn't have been able to buy anything as beautiful as this when they first came out okay so let's measure this um it is acrylic but it's a little bit more forgiving they seem to have moved on to um when i did my peter rabbit scene it's not quite such a brittle acrylic maybe it's just how i feel it is but it, it seems to although it is still your um acrylic your plastic it seems to have a little bit more give so possibly if it drops off the wall hopefully it doesn't but if it does it's not going to break it's not quite as brittle or it doesn't feel it just my opinion so let's go from widest point to widest point so we're roughly about 29 just under 30 in 30 inches it'd be huge 30 centimeters god blow me um, about nine sorry 11 and a half inches so it's not quite 30 centimeters that way is it this way yeah it's nearer 30 centimeters that way which is about 11 and three quarter inches so you're roughly um a 30 by 30 canvas and it is pretty much a full drill other than the bits in between the flowers um, which will be clear anyway everything else that you can see all the leaves all the flowers all the middles are all uh, gems on them all diamond painted so yeah project number two very very nice and then let's just have a look at my storage box oops just pop that with all the guff keep it all together so we're gonna get oh this one's not got tape on it so this is an easy to get into one and this as i say you will have seen these okay and it's one of these oh I was thinking what's that bit that's the bottom of the box now this might be a little bit more difficult to show on camera because i'm a bit close but we'll see how we go all right this is one of the older style kits so it hasn't got the branded tool kit in it um, but it does still have two pens so if you want to share with a friend you can do big piece of wax about your 20 baggies and two green boats so this has come with one of the older style kits but that's fine it's still if you use these there's plenty there to do your kit it looks like we are all crystal drills which again are very good quality oh we've got some specials in there as well you can see all sorts in there it's got one of the leaflets that shows you what you get in your kit um what all your different bits and pieces are and how to diamond paint okay and then your box and as i say this is a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter so maybe if i do it that way you can see it falls out so you just literally fold it out and let me take a look here for the next step. i do apologize it's a little bit difficult to show this in a limited space and then into the box now you can see that look so you've got a lovely little cube and the amount that these hold is great as i say that fills completely a calax storage unit box so if you do have one of the ikea units i know a lot of people do um and looking at videos of other people's craft rooms i can see that a lot of people do have them they are very popular because they're just the right size and they're just the right height for putting things on and taking things off 
Okay, let me fold this back down again so that we can have a better look at the butterflies. And it's very, very pretty. So we don't actually have a key code in with this one. Was the one in the box? No, that's unusual. Okay. So with no DMC code. Oh, we've got, oh, I don't like that. Oh dear. Get some Google on that. We've got um, a very squidgy bit of sticky on there. I'll have to let them know about that. That's not good. It's like the glue as they've put the poured glue onto the uh, canvas, onto where the drill area is. It's squidged over the top there. That's not good. It's not on the other side. No, the other side's okay. But mistakes happen. You know, it, they're making thousands of these and it's a big manufacturing um, process. So, you know, you're bound to get an odd little error on things, but... We'll see what they say when I send, uh, I'll just send them an email and say, oh, this one's come a little bit squidgy. But I don't mind cleaning it off. It's not going to stop the box from working. Um, I am a little disappointed that we've not got the codes for the drills. Or oh, have we? SN0, oh no. SN009 must be the actual uh, canvas. Now then, you can go onto the Craft Buddy website and download, and you can download all their key codes for all their canvases. So let's just have a quick look at this. Always handy as well if you've mislaid um, your key code for your canvas or you've not kept any of it and you've got it hung on a wall and you suddenly notice um, on one of your pictures you've done that there's a drill missing you can actually download this it's a lot to download um, and it will tell you your key code for it now then these are all CAs let me see if I can find an SN okay I can't find it actually on these lists but it is a while since I downloaded this and this is one of the newer kits that came out so I'll maybe need to go and have a look um, it may be on the Facebook group page as well. There may be a link on there, but check them out anyway. Um, yeah, and it is just worth having or just knowing where it is. So if you do ever need one of the codes that's missing, you know, you can just quickly nip on and grab one of those. Okay, so yep, so all our butterflies are drilled and uh, have the gems on them. So they are all special gems uh, and then... We've got all your leaves and everything out. Just this little bit of green background, which I think is nice, the green background, because it just, I think it just being on a stark white background like all this, it wouldn't have that impact. It wouldn't look as pretty. But I do like my butterflies. And I say these are useful to use as well. Looks like we're just a little bit, oh, no, it's just a bit there. It looks a little bit grubby up there. It's looking a little bit grubby. The other thing I like about this is that a lot of the ones you get, they actually sew the plastic into the edging on the boxes or cushions or whatever you're doing. Whereas this is just a loose one on the top. And I find getting the little bits out of the stitching on the ones where it's sewn in, it's just so difficult to get out. I find I'm picking bits of plastic out for ages, you know, even if you use a knife because you're not wanting to cut your stitches. And it's difficult to then get in and cut the plastic out without cutting stitches. So, yeah, let me know how you deal with those. Do you have a technique, a really good technique for getting the plastic um, off the front of special drill projects when uh, it's sewn into the actual canvas? I find it really difficult to do, but this is brilliant. That's worth it to me to get that. It's just really good. So let's have a look at these drills. Oh, 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 look at those. Wow. Can you see how sparkly they are? They're like all little tiny sparkly dots on top of a round gem. Wow. You can't quite see the sparkle on those. Maybe if I go a bit further away. Yeah, it's all raised up and sparkly like those. But anyway, let's have a look at these. <laughs> They just happened to jump out and say, look at me. I was like, yeah, look at you. <laughs> okay, so we've got, oops. 
Okay, so we may have just escaped. 16 there, is that 20, 17? Oh, look at that. Some of them just decided to try and escape from me. Okay, so are they the same one? No, they're different shades. So we've got one and two there. And then like a brownie colour. Hot pink. Oh, I do like my hot pinks. They're just a slightly darker shade of a hot pink, but they are still hot pinks. And a pale pink there. And a very, very sparkly uh, plain crystal. And a lovely deep red crystal. And a gold crystal. And a pale blue. And look at your greens. You've got three shades again. So you've got your depth of colour with the three different shades there. And then a slightly larger red to match in. And a slightly larger... Oh, yeah, they're around. Yeah, they are around. Sorry, I thought they were oval shaped for a moment. My eyesight again. Do apologise. Pale pink. And then your little... AB coated, um, iridescent coated marquees there in silver, very pretty. And then look at these, we have like um, a bronzy oil on water effect, come on focus, thank you. It's like greeny, browny, bronzy colour those, that larger round, and some pink pearls, I've not had pink pearls before, they're really pretty. And then your standard white pearls. These don't have any facets on them. So uh, the, oh, that one does. The brownie one does. But your pink and your white don't. And again, AB coated. And then your final one is just your smaller pearls. And there's no AB coating on those. They are just white. Okay. Very, very nice. And I need to get this box done sooner rather than later get all my uh, gems into them. What I'm doing, put these away so you can hear what I'm saying, is doing a box. Um, well, I've always had a box for like round um, drills and square drills, and but now I'm separating them out into larger pictures, smaller pictures, so that I can find them easier. Um, yeah, just making uh, organisation just makes it a bit easier. It's just taking forever to do. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> so we've had a lovely a butterflies box in this haul. We've had our gorgeous wall hanging. Look at those flowers. Oh, I think all those butterflies have definitely got those flowers. We've got our Union Jack sticker for our Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Look at that. Fantastic. And then, I say, just to make up so that I've got my free postage, I've got my little glue stick pen. Okay, so a nice little haul. Really uh, pleased with these. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see some of these completed, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.